What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum Reaction. I'm Steve and today I'm going to react to Solo Leveling Season 1, Episode 8. This is frustrating and that is very apropos to my videos for Solo Leveling that are frustrating. Except to cut them down so short or else they get a copyright strike or they just get hit and I have to like, go crazy editing them and then they get hidden. So I apologize for that. On the last week's episode, Jin Wu fought that three-headed monster, defeated it, and then got the Elixir of Life, or so we thought. He has to get three items to create the Elixir of Life, and then hopefully he could bring that to his mother to cure her in the hospital. So, I hope he gets it, and I'm sure he will, but let's get into Season 1, Episode 8 of Solo Leveling. Now, there's his mom. Ooh. Mom exactly what he needs. Oh, hopefully he gets it before she dies. Yeah, he's just got to level up a little bit. Where are we? Oh, so he just wants to go in with four? でも危険すぎませんか。物は考えようだ。恋の霊道を経験。ゼロで終えることができる。19回連続無事故の。That's That's the problem watching one episode a week. Sometimes I forget if I've seen characters before. Um, I know it's not his sister, even though his sister has purple eyes, but she has purple hair too. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Jinmu needs a new rank determination. This is basically just exposition right now. That's <laughs> not That doesn't make sense. If you have five of them, it's not a monopoly. <laughs> I guess we'll come back to that. Felt like a waste of like a couple of minutes. Uh, secret quest. What's his reward? They can't all be winners. What do we got? <laughs> a bingo card? Don't we all? Oh my god. He's gonna do something to get a penalty on purpose? Oh. Because he needs to hide his experience. He introduced a lot of characters. Yep. You chose that life. Gotta deal with it. <sighs> Probably not. Yeah, it's gotta be tough. <laughs> Hell yeah, Daddy's strong. Oh, hope this guy somehow gets his ass handed to him. Ah, <sighs> Sorewa, 
The show does a good job of being kind of boring. And then the last 10 minutes are off the wall. <laughs> Money. Money is always a good motivator. Guess there's no significance of eye color, although there might be. Oh, loyalty. Talking about just that thing. <laughs> Teaming in a bottle? Never forget. Trying to reclaim their reputation, I guess. Huh? <laughs> Still think you should tell her. Mm. I don't even recognize him. Was he in that dungeon? With the statues? Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Too many characters. I love how they put yellow tape around a dungeon. What if like a normal person goes in there? あの日私たちは水しの雲を置き去りにして definitely likes him. なんだ。そっちのじいちゃんとできてんのか。psycho. His smile looks like those statues, right? That's crazy. They got... <laughs> it's supposed to be so dangerous. They got a suit going and surveillance cameras. Is Jinwoo gonna end up killing them? Well, if they're monitoring it, they'll see Jinwoo at his best. Uh, it wasn't your fault. Mashima Hmm. Are we going to get any fighting this episode, or is it just going to be cliffhanger fight next episode? They didn't even go in. Uh, this show really enjoys these cliffhangers. I don't even know what to talk about for this episode. Nothing really happened. It was, it was a like it's a it was a good episode, but out of the first eight that I've watched, this is probably the most inconsequential, I guess, and uh, boring, shall I say, episodes. We didn't get any fighting, just a lot of exposition. We know they're trying to start a new guild. 
And I guess people are, are, don't want it to happen. They're secretly trying to recruit powerful hunters. One of them turned it down. We, I, I know that. Um, <laughs> we have this new raid, and I feel like Jinwoo wants to do a ton of them so he could level up faster. But then he mentioned he wanted to um, go to that penalty. I forgot what it was called, like the penalty where he fights the Sam monster, which I think might actually be a good idea because he's a lot stronger now and he could probably defeat defeat it. Cause I'm, I'm guessing when you get a penalty, you go to see <laughs> that beast. And if you escape and you go back, you have to fight it. But if you defeat it, and then you go back and you get a penalty again, you probably fight something different, most likely. That, that's I'm guessing that's how it works. So I kind of feel like the first penalty battle monster would be less powerful. But then again, he went in there when he was a lower level, right? So if he goes back at a higher level, does that sand monster also level up? Or does it stay the original power level that it was when he first went? That I don't know, but if I feel like if it stays the same level, he won't get that many power-ups from it since he's so much higher now. Well, I guess it probably has to level up, but I can't think of really anything else to talk about. I can't believe we didn't get any fighting this episode. It's so weird. The description just says Jinwoo takes part in a raid of a D-ranked dungeon and we didn't even go in. So this kind of was a filler episode because... A lot of the stuff we they talked about, we already knew. Like We knew they were trying to create a new guild. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm lost in translation since I have subtitles. And even though I could understand these episodes when I'm watching this series with subtitles, I forget about what happened before. Like characters I don't remember. Um, like things that happened I don't really remember. And even when they're talking, I'm kind of like lost a little bit. So um, if you guys see this... I mean, what really was the point of this episode? I don't think we really needed the first, like, 15 minutes of it. It could have started, like, the beginning. Oh, we're going to recruit. We need to recruit to get into this dungeon. And then just go in and fight. And then have the cliffhanger maybe be right before they defeat the beast. Like they usually do in this series. Um, or... The criminals do something. I feel like the criminals are going to try to do something. I, there's there's no way in my mind that they're just going to be honest fighters. They're going to have to try to escape, I have a feeling. And I think the surveillance, the surveillance is going to benefit Jinwoo because um, no one kind of believes that he's as strong as he is because everyone knows what his official rank is. So if they are battling... And everyone else is kind of getting their ass kicked and he's the one who dominates, then they're going to see it. Um, it might not be good for him because then he will have to get reevaluated. But to be honest, I don't I don't know where the season is headed. I don't know where it's going. I really thought that we were going to get into like a montage of him really trying to level up faster to get the ingredients for the elixir of life. But I guess that's coming I don't know whether in the next, like episode 9, 10, 11, or 12. So the next four episodes, we're going to have to get there. And I can't wait. So I want to know, what did you all think of this episode? What did you think of my reaction? And what do you think of my thoughts about kind of this being a filler and not really needing it? So if there was more significance to this that I missed because of my confusion, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.